the old tired line of fossils were not left or they were destroyed only goes so far and it's very convenient and it's very weak. So why that claim all the time? It's simple because arrogant, selfish, dishonest eggheads and elitists and smug self-worshippers refuse to give any real consideration to the idea of special creation of life suddenly by a divine creator or an outside intelligence or an intentional director or to consider at all the Yahweh Elohim of scripture as a real possibility and they feel they should have a long period of time to allow for evolution to evolve a speck of protoplasm in some freaky, mythical, magical, illogical, unscientific way into the variety of highly organized life that suddenly appears in the Cambrian rocks. Two-thirds of their record is missing. Their beginning is a billion-year gap, a blank. What blind credulity these characters have in their philosophy of Darwinian evolution. Those fossils in the Cambrian don't show what evolutionists need them to show. And there are no real fossils at all in the pre-Cambrian to even explain the Cambrian. Okay, and what about those missing links? Anyway, as far as the fossil record, the quote, missing links truly remain missing, and the only thing that dishonest, biased evolutionists can hold up are ambiguous things at best. Ida? Ardy? Ticktailic? Opac? Hype much? Uh, hallucinate much? Seeing things that aren't there because you want them to be there? OPAC, which is really in the zebra family? Oh, my goodness. With the horrible holes in the Cambrian and pre-Cambrian systems remaining, it's embarrassing, and it's pathetic that they still want to claim that, quote, fossils support their nonsense. And there is not just one, quote, missing link. There are at least 20,000 missing links between every species in the animal kingdom. The appalling gaps in the fossil record are still there and don't go away just because Darwinist drones want to ignore them or rationalize them away with old desperate lines like, quote, no fossils were left or, quote, the fossils were destroyed. Again, though, funny how the fossils are intact within each family and species in the fossil record. As one scientist once wrote, quote, the curious thing is that there is a consistency about the fossil record. The fossils go missing in all the important places. Where then are all the quote, in between stages or links of this supposed evolutionary chain in either the fossil record or in the record of living things today? Why is it always the same story that the transitions the real links between major groups of plants and animals are missing. Why do the major groups of complex organisms always appear suddenly, separated by structural gaps from members of other groups? Why are such things as arms, legs, eyes, and wings always found to be completely developed? If Darwinian evolution were true, there simply had to be various stages of development in different limbs and organs. There should be at least a few real ones, not ambiguous, vague nonsense, touted as, quote, transitions, neurotically by exaggerating Darwinists for pathological agendas, but real, clear, unmistakable, irrefutable transitional forms and links of bones and organs and eyes and spines and wings all over the place. But such stages are never found. We should have millions of them all over museums. But such stages, real, clear, unambiguous forms, links, transitions and stages and gradations are never found. These hard facts distress 
some more informed and honest Darwinists. So of course, maniacs like Stephen Jay Gould had to concoct his quote, punctuated equilibrium theory to try to somehow account for all the sudden bursts, jumps, and gaps in the fossil record. Gould admitted the problem, so he came up with one myth to cover the flaws of the other. But he challenged other Darwinists to finally stop denying the problem or rationalizing the facts away and to finally admit the data 